So me and Kim are back at Otherworld. It's been, well, we've been here since we filmed the first time, but how many years has it been since we? Um, I wanna say the last time we were here, it was uh, 2020. Yeah, I think it was. Well, that's the last time we were here, but we filmed in like 2019 or 2018. Yeah. So we do have yeah. an uh, earlier video on the channel, but we know they've changed things since the last time we were here, which is over a year ago now. So I'm excited to see, cause I know there's a whole new expansion called Otherworld. <laughs> um, and they also are, I believe they purchased one of the surrounding buildings here as well, and will eventually be expanding there. So we're super excited to come back when that happens. Now that hasn't happened yet, but um, we are going to go and, you know, show you all the different things that has changed and has been added in there. Here's something that's definitely new since last time we were here. I don't know if it's supposed to be some kind of like god of some sort, but yeah, you, like the mushrooms and stuff around him. And they have the little gift shop over there. I'm sure we'll show that later. Right now, I guess we'll proceed into the actual thing. And there's like a little like place where you can get refreshments and stuff over there. I'm gonna walk in now. You can go, and I like this because it looks like you shouldn't go there, but you can. And then there's also this way. I think we're going to, I don't know, where do you want to start? Pick your poison. Let's, let's go into the utility closet, All right, I let's guess. go ahead and go into the utility closet. Let's see. It's like a a mop monster and like a trash can monster there. And then toiletries. Oh my. All right. Get you into this. Got this one that looks a little starry night light. Actually, it's right now it's like real chill, like. Oh. Good luck, camera. Huh. And you can just sit here and you can relax and chill to some music. This place is just kind of a whole vibe. Yeah, right there's the room we came from. Let's try a different one. So this one's kind of like, almost like chill, like vibe music. Although the other one too was, but it was a little more ambient than this. There should be one that's just like death metal. Just to scare the crap out of you. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one's a lot more fun. But that's kind of the thing about this place is that, you know, it's very interactive. We missed this one on the way in. It's one that's just made, uh, it's entirely of like, gloves and it has a brush for a head so now this would be like if you walk down like the main way into like the velvet squid door do i present them with this and i incentivize you to touch everything i don't think these do anything 
when you're in here. All right, let's go. Because there's like four different doorways. There's one there, one there, one here, and then one over there. And they all branch to different things. So we will go in here. They just kind of take you essentially to different biomes, different worlds. Now this is kind of cool. This is actually, this is interactable. Go ahead and uh, demonstrate that for us, Kim. As you can see, she's revealing more. And now I do know, it's not like, you don't have to do this, but there are like certain symbols and certain secret things. And I believe somewhere on here, you can reveal one. I think it used to be over here. Kind of call around in there and see if we can find a symbol. And then there's different places where you can put these things. Like you'll find clues and you'll be able to like unlock things. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's one on here somewhere. We're not gonna spend time coloring the whole thing, but I love how themed it is. Like even like the little thing up here, like has like the face of like the little monsters. You can see there's a giant eyeball there. Yep, there's a fan up there that's kind of spiraling out and there's a little monster. And then, now you can get to this a different way. But if, oh God, here we go. If you crawl under the bed, there's this awful stuff. And then there's also a porthole that leads you to the narwhal. I'm already halfway here. I'll just crawl through this entire room is fur laden. As you can see, it's fuzzy. And here's your giant narwhal that is also fuzzy. And you can climb inside of him as well. You can see he has a heart on the ceiling. And he's pretty soft. I don't feel like crawling in there, but I've been in there before. So now we'll go try and find Kim. There you are. What's that? My shoes. Oh yeah, and they even they even look like yours. They're all gross and stuff. <laughs> oh and the, yeah, and the giant paw coming out of the closet there. Right, so now I guess we can go. I think this would take us back to the record playing room. Yeah, so this would take us back to the, the as Kim says, disco room. I don't remember if this always connected or not. And there's all of these like glowing clothes on the ceiling. It's real trippy stuff. So now we're gonna go back into this room which I was in briefly because over there's the narwhal room. But yeah, they have to replace them a lot, I guess. We know one of the managers of the place. We've actually done an interview with her and um, people destroy these things a lot. It is thicker, oh yeah. It's almost like a plastic rather than they paper mache. Yeah, they did used to be paper mache and I don't remember having these designs. They used to be more fleshy or something feeling. But there's all of these like beanbag chairs. You can literally just ugh, wallop in and just vibe. All right, leaving the, I don't even know what you call this room exactly, but yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah, egg pog tendered foil room. And then I guess we'll go over here next. This place really is like a choose your own adventure thing. This is like a lab of some sort. Kind of like some little shop of horror stuff going on here. And as you can see, they're opening the door, so there's a lot of interactivity. What is that thing? Look at this thing. Ew. Um, intestine wedding cake? Yeah, intestine wedding cake. Oh, and yeah, you can see its creepy little face right there. 
it's pretty awful, actually. <laughs> A lot of people in this room. Oh God, look at this one. There's some real nightmarish stuff that's in here. But yeah, as you can see, yeah, you can open up this stuff and there's going to be like different. Creatures from another world, I guess. And so this is like a little atrium of horror, I guess. Like, look at this thing. Yeah, there's these, like, real creepy little faces that are on things here. Even this is, like, a, almost like a face. Now we're gonna walk into what's kind of like the main area, I guess. So this, you see this in a lot of like marketing and stuff if you follow them. There's a lot of like projection mapping. This gives me like some super like Adventures of the Hidden Temple Nickelodeon vibe. <laughs> but like even the lips change color. Now I don't remember them doing that before like that on it. That's pretty cool. See how the lips like change color, Skim? Oh, where to? Well, I know if we go through there, I think that'll take us to the new section as well, I think is where that connects. I think you're correct. Yeah, because that was where the old um, yeah. obelisk was. It's even blinking. So I think let's go let's go through here. Alright. Alright. Just gonna step right over there. Now there is like a whole computer and stuff that you can interact with and try and find things. And I think eventually the phone will ring. These pictures also change. And I think that will give you like part of the clue. No one there? No one there. No, you have to go into there. Um, yeah, there is interactive stuff here where you have to find certain symbols and stuff and then certain right. things will light up. Which will show some of that stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's go back in over here because I believe this section over here is going to be new. You can crawl through there and it'll take you through the mouth of that giant projection mapped structure thing. Remember the very first time we came, I think it just ended here. This, like yeah. there was this. And then it last time there was an- There was no wall. No yeah, wall. last time there was an obelisk, but it was kind of just a black room with something floating in the ceiling. And they kind of have like, it's kind of set up like a museum. Obviously these aren't like real things, but that's kind of the whole vibe is that they're museums from um, someplace here else. I really like, I really like this one. This is really cool. Kind of like some kind of like almost underwater kind of like planet vibe, like almost like an Atlantis kind of thing or something like that. And we have some like green people up here. Just a bunch of cool relics from other worlds. It's really strange. It says like the little card that says the gathering sector 18C discovery date Four one twenty-eight. Huh. Suspicious if someone's playing a prank on us. These per parallels can't be coincidental. Have they in some way been influenced by us? Have they been watching us? 
it's, it's kind of there's even like yeah she's reading one of like the theming cards here that kind of describe to you what the different things are you could spend just like hours and hours in this place discovering and doing like the different activities that there is All right, but now we're going to head into here which is again what i believe to be the new section oh yes you can kind of see it behind there i don't know these like trippy projection mapped mushrooms i see some teats Even this is projection mapped. It's really good projection mapping. I'm hoping it comes across nice on camera. But like, it's really good projection mapping. Like, I'm not even sure. Is this actually a 3D? All right, so this is actually, this is 3D, but they just have a projection mapped yeah. on there. Yeah. All right, but now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the cow deity statue. Hmm. Look at the udders. They look like they're sensors of some sort. Do me a favor. Shine a flashlight in there. They look like the thing that we'll be showing you in the other room here in a bit that's been here since I believe they opened. They don't do any touch them. Do they do something? Are they buttons? <laughs> yes. They're buttons is what they are. And then there's a wall over here. I don't know if maybe it's telling us some kind of weird secret. Look how cool, like even the art is on here. It's just so well put together. Are those, are they in the shape of a triangle? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, okay. So I feel like there has to be some kind of puzzle correlating because the five uh, udders correlate with this cow pyramid. Oh, it's not a button. Their sense, okay. So I'm thinking that means we did it wrong. So there's an order. Okay. Wait a minute. So the position of them in the triangle is telling us what to do first. So. Oh. Okay, so the top one is first. Okay. The second one. Um, I think it would be this one because I think it's going to go from what's upmost to what's downmost, maybe. No, because look at the way the lights are going. Lights are going this, 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 this. Okay, this. I guess try that then. So I think it's this one. Okay. And then this one. Oh, look, and the cow's starting to break away. It's a, Do you see what it's doing, Kim? Yeah. It's becoming like more gold. Yeah. playing Legend of Zelda music. Wow. All right. We did the thing. We did the thing. That well, that's pretty cool. cool. You get like, that's fun that they give you like a little musical like reward show. All right, well, cool. We've, um, <laughs> we've met Khalifa or whatever it's called. Khalifa? Yeah, I think that's from a video game. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we're going to take this exit. This really cool room. Now this is the thing I was talking about earlier that's been here since they opened, I believe. They've revised it though. Now this is one of the ones where if you find certain symbols, I believe you know what to do. Although this, there's only certain symbols that are glowing at the moment. That's weird, that's different. Yeah. Go and shine your light in just the ones that are glowing maybe. Or maybe those are the ones that someone else entered already. Yeah, that's what it is. Someone else has already shined the light, so that's why they're glowing. Because you gotta like pick the correct ones to like make it do a special light show, similar to what the cow did, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's doing some kind of thing. It's making some kind of extra noises from the... Yeah, you really gotta put your light like on and on it. 
Yeah, I know finding all the symbols is really difficult. All right, now we're going back into like this little main section because it loops right back around. And like I said, you can go up in its mouth. I don't really feel like crawling in there. I've been there before. There's not really much in there. I think there might be like a uvula or something you can like punch in there. It's really dark in there for some reason. Yeah, I feel like this thing's new. This thing's new, right? I don't remember seeing him before. Unless I'm crazy, maybe he's not new, but he looks new to me. Let's go inside the tree here. It's just a bunch of like weird little light up egg things. Um, where to now? Let's, yeah, let's go here, I guess. tree drums. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. Although I think there might be someone cleaning something in here. I think so. Hmm. Now we are in some kind of like under their sea place. Oh yeah, this one has the breakable bubbles on the floor. And then this is here. Now we're in some kind of like underworld, like Atlantis kind of thing. Yeah, go ahead and I think it does something when we open this. Oh yeah, it turns black lights on and now it's, that's actually pretty cool. Oh and look, there's like little planets. Go ahead and close it. Let's see what it looks like when it's closed. I kind of didn't pay attention. Oh, it's the same design. It just looks cooler, I guess, with the black light on. Yeah. I think that's all this one does. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else that it does. Go in this room, it's the one adjacent to the one we were just in. And this is just another like chill out room where you can flop in some bean bags. Oof. And look at the ceiling. There's like some like light up tendril looking things. I think that's all there is to this room. It just has some cool wall art and some tendril looking things. But that's fine, not every room has to be super amazing. Now this one's a super trippy one to walk through. Let's try and do this dead center and I'll try and keep it still. As you can see, there's like an, an affinity effect here. What the heck? Was that a person or what was that? Now we're in like a kind of smaller section over here. Like a couple things. <sighs> Kim's being our neon drenched runway model. All right, and now out of the tunnel, we're going to another crazy light room. These make, now they don't make noises, but they're just like super trippy to walk through. As you can see. It's really weird watching the camera screen walking around here because there's like even like extra, it's like, cause I can see on my peripher peripheral all the doubles of me and then I can see all the doubles of me on the camera as well. Hi. 
All right, so let's go ahead and exit and see if there's anything else around this area. I don't actually remember. All right, so there is something over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this one's just when you stand inside and get extremely sick. Let me try and stand back further because the camera's wide, but without having a 360 degree view, because it's going down the sides as well. It's very, oh my, oh. Yeah. I know this isn't gonna translate great on camera. Right? I'm sorry if there's, yeah, there's like bars and stuff showing up. See like on the screen because of like however. Uh oh, now we're in some kind of weird. Oh, this one's kind of. We're in like a Geometry Cthulhu world or something. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. Lava in space kind of thing. Let's see what this one's going to be. Oh. oh, but now we're back to the first one. Now I think we have to go back from whence we came because that way leads to the gift shop and I don't want to go through there yet. All right, so now we're back in like the underwater looking section. We're gonna get head through the fantastical seaweed here <laughs> and go back to like the main section and continue to explore. So now we have that way to go or we have that way to go. Let's go this way. I don't remember what's through here exactly. This looks, yeah, this does not look familiar to me. This might be new. I do not remember these like weird seat things you can sit in. It's really dark in here. Not sure how well this will translate. Hopefully decently. I think those are like jellyfish on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, this is definitely different. Than, I do not remember this. This is definitely different. Oh, what on earth? What is that thing? That gave me a spook when I turned the corner. It kind of looks like that thing at the beginning, that deity statue that's in the lobby. like a seat in here and there's like tendrils and yeah weird. I thought maybe it was might be like a weird swing but no it's just a creepy seat I just totally want to sit in here and just jump scare kids okay all right so now let's go back into this room with the weird cloud alien with multiple faces So they change colors, but we don't know what. Okay, it is doing it. Wait, wave your hand over top. Huh. It's, its face is orange, red, blue, and then what's the color over there? Red, blue, and green. Yep, and now it comes. Oh, I, I see him up there. So I think that's causing it. I don't know. Maybe we're wrong. All right, I guess let's go into the next room. Oh, and now we're going back into complete fuzzy walls. Oh, yeah. It is real dark in here. I kind of want to, I want people to be able to see a little bit. As you can see, it's like real claustrophobic. It's kind of eerie in here because of how claustrophobic it is. And then this leads us to the stalagmite room. 
Huh. So yeah, it's, it's this room that we said we were going to next. It just kind of circled us back in there. Yeah, and as Kim's demonstrating. This is another room that has kind of a puzzle. Yeah. Um, Cause see, you can you put the you put your hand over the sensors, and you have to have each side on the correct symbols you find for the throughout the place, and it will do something. I forget what, but I think it's something with the eyes. Yeah, the eyes like shine and light yeah. up and But I mean, I couldn't tell you for the life of me what they are. We solved it before with help. Um, but right, over here, crawl down. There's some kind of weird like egg monster thing. Oh no, it's a caterpillar on top of some weird eggs. It's a two-headed caterpillar, to be precise. That's just kind of like in this little alcove over here. And then Kim went in the pod room. Now, if we can find a third person, it does something if there's three people. I don't know if, we'll, if another person will come in or not. I think it like shoots air on you or something. You think an unsuspecting victim will come in? I think, I think I'm the one that gets it. Yep. Did you get air too or is it just me? No, I got air. Okay, is everybody? Yeah, you get a little get a little jump scare at the end there. And then you have like a little control panel room over here to do things. Now this one I do believe lets you jump scare someone. I think there's like an air cannon like in one of these. We'll show you the room in a minute. We haven't been there yet. But I believe you can hit this button and jump scare people. Oh yeah, and then this one you can call people and there's like a haunted mansion spider room we haven't been to yet. You can call and a phone will ring and you can talk to them. Is anybody in there? is kind of like a little in-between room to the main hallway there. Yeah. And there's, I'm not even sure where the air is exactly. I think it's, I think it's from up there, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. So cool. And then you can, if you want to, like I said, you can dive deep into like the story of the place and stuff too. Well, you used to be able to hit play, there we go. It's playing something now. I think we're finally getting somewhere. The readings have been consistent. It'll kind of the play these things we've that they've made. The the this level. one's over there too. Um, All right, so now we're back into the red velvet hallway place. And if you take it right here, it takes into something that is very stranger things looking to me. Probably just because of the Christmas lights, actually, I'm not sure. But you can see it's like a web of like video cassettes. This is different, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this wasn't like this before. Yeah. There's like these boxes, and let's see if the camera can... Yeah, you can look in and like, looks like you can see different things, maybe? Oh, that one's trippy. Nope. Camera's making it even more trippy. I'm not really sure what these are. If there's some kind of reason for them or... That's the thing about this place is like a lot of stuff like will have meaning and other stuff is just random and it's hard to tell like what is and isn't just complete randomness. Got some candles and oh, it's like a garbage monster man. She was just here playing her video game but what if you want to live the video game in real life? I don't know. Maybe you crawl through the video game hole. This is not fun, and there is another way to get to this, but it's not as cool if you don't crawl through the arcade. This is for children. This is not for grown men. 
And then, we the video game. Little sensors you can hit them. Yeah, and you get that. She hit that one over there. Yay, she got another one. You get like a rainbow surprise. Now you don't have to crawl through. You can just go through the door. And right around there's where the arcade is, but it's more fun to crawl through. Because then you feel like you entered a video game. Except it's painful because it's not it's not real fuzzy in there. Um, all these melted candles hanging from the ceiling. I don't remember if this is this way before or not. But we're gonna go a more fun way that way, but there is this little bypass hallway too. So probably one of my favorite scenes in Another World. But yeah, they have like an old timey cartoon. It's very like old school, like the animations. That reminds me of like the Xbox game Cuphead. But then if you open it, if you have a Kim behind there, Hi. now you're like basically in the old school cartoon. And it's all like sepia tone and that in here. then if you, yeah, because usually it ends up closed, the coffin, but so this is what it is if it's open, but if you close it, now the cartoon basically like dies. And now like all the color that was there was gone. So it was like sepia mixed with like color. And then go ahead and open it again so we can see the difference. So you can watch the, you have the flowers spring to life and it puts a little bit of uh, white balance light to, so you can see some of the colors that are in here. It's cool, but definitely a little frightening. The, uh, this guy, especially over here, this little guy, he's, he's a bit spooky. Now we're going to go ahead and exit this room into another cool room here. Okay, yes, this one is basically still the same looking. It is like a giant mm, glow-in-the-dark spider web room, but they have these really cool, these are actually like chair hammocks that you can sit in just to chill here, which we will in a minute. But then there's red strings, because most of them are green, but then there's red ones, and these will play music. And if you have like a group of people, you can all just be hitting them and making all kinds of like crazy sounds. Let's sit in this scary hammock. Ah, uh, and just wee Can't swing real far. There's Kim just over there strumming on a web trying to get it to play sounds for her. There's a sign over here that says exhibit on or under maintenance. It's a cute little thing there. So they must be working on something new there. Look how cute the spiders are. I like give him a tug, yeah. All right. So now we're walking into the haunted house, which you can see there's still some spiders and stuff from that from over there. Oh. This is the phone that can ring. From the other room, I said you could call someone. This is the phone that we were referring to that would ring. Kim tried calling someone, now it was another room to answer. People also get confused and don't answer sometimes. They're like, what's happening? Anybody there? No one there? No one there. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Like right here is a symbol, which would probably correlate to one of the things. I do like the spinning chandelier at the spider eggs though. That's pretty cool. 
And they also have their cute little plushies you can buy at the gift shop. Kim likes this little one. They have like different faces. Look, this one has a little snaggle too. These ones have like long tails. They have these ones displayed really cute. It's kind of weird that you think the pink monsters would be in here, but they have the narwhals shoved on the, on the fuzzy shelves. And of course, also has some cool t-shirts as well. Um, I don't know, did I see this it's one? It's got little symbols for all the different rooms. Oh yeah, it does. That's actually a really cool idea. Look at this pink hoodie. Oh my god. Look at the art that's on the back. That is so wow. cool. I kind of want the pink hoodie. They also have really cool little um, caps up here as well. It's another like, little cap. Oh, I like this one. It's like the tree with someone walking into it. That's cool. I might have to buy something. I don't know. Now, I think we've been to every room and we've showed a good amount here. But like I said before, you can spend just a lot of time here because they incentivize you just going and touching things, you know, and just interacting to really kind of find out what everything does, trying to solve the little puzzles and stuff like that. I'm sure there's quite a few things that you can interact with and stuff that me and Kim didn't do or don't even know about. And I'm super excited for them to like get into that secondary building because like if they have, if it's gonna be even, if it's gonna be this size or even half this size, that would be super cool. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. We and Kim are just kind of, there's like these uh, stoop things that we're sitting up on. We're just kind of chilling for a minute, but yeah, I think that does it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff so you can see any kind of future vloggy places we go to, haunted locations, which is the main thing we do. Once in a while we'll do vlogs like this if it's a real interesting place, because this place is definitely haunted house adjacent as far as theming and that goes. And make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything else. We will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. Say bye. <laughs> bye. 